Hello again. This is the last media meme review thing I'm going to do. Um, this is like the sixth one, CBS. So I was just going to plan to do a review of the six main ones from the meme. And this is the last one. I might do more later on, but I probably will do like, just go back to like regular videos or maybe go into some other meme reviews for a while. But getting kind of sick of like looking up Jewish people in the media, like it's kind of not that fun. So. Um, but this is the last one, uh, CBS, and it's kind of confusing. Um, I did kind of touch on this in one of my past videos, but uh, CBS used to be owned by someone else, and then there was like a merger, and then it became Viacom CBS, and it's like just under Paramount or something. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. I covered it in my last video, but um, just keeping that in mind, a lot of the people that they list and like some of the orgs are kind of outdated because there was a merger and like a buyout and stuff. But anyway, um, let's just get into it. So first on the list is Les Moonves, who's listed as the chairman, president, and CEO of the CBS Corporation. Uh, the CBS Corporation is now defunct um, and got turned into Viacom CBS, which is now Paramount. Paramount Global, that is. So it's a little hard to tell who really replaced Moonves. Um, he was ousted in 2018, so probably due to the merger and I think he had like some sexual assault things, I don't know. But um, so the leader of Paramount Global is Bob Backish, who I'm pretty sure is Jewish. I haven't seen anything to like confirm that he is, but the last name just is a Jewish last name kind of. So I'm just gonna go with that. And then the um, um, the actual like leader of CBS News now is, there's actually two of them. They're like co-presidents. And it's this Indian dude, Niraj Kemlani and Wendy McMahon. And then the CEO of CBS Entertainment is George Cheeks. So it kind of, I don't know who really like replaced him directly. Um, I guess I guess like all three kind of like do what he used to do like based on the merger and the bio i'm not really sure it's like again it's kind of confusing but anyway he's no longer there and those people are in those uh top positions uh sumner redstone is dead but he was the like owner of national amusements which owns like all these companies like national amusements is the main whatever i guess the top organization that owns paramount global and cbs and stuff but his daughter sherry redstone is like the owner now and essentially she has ultimate authority and control i guess but Again, I think it's kind of misleading to suggest that she like oversees every single detail. Like obviously that's not the case. Like obviously CEOs and not even the CEOs look at every single thing. Like these organizations and companies are run, like everyone plays their part. So it's kind of the whole like idea of like just looking at the top people is kind of silly, but it matters anyway. So, and she is like the leader, I guess. David Rhodes was half Jewish. And then he also left. Gil Schwartz died. Jonathan Anshell left. Pedowitz uh, also left. They listed Jane Polly as Jewish um, and they look to like this article that was posted this is like the dumbest reach so basically in the article it just at it's like an interview with her and it says what is something most people don't know about you and then her answer is that I'm part Jewish I didn't know that until last fall when I was on PBS's finding your roots pretty cool to learn something like that at age 40 so clearly like she didn't know she was Jewish or like participated at all and those type of programs they just do like a 23 and me DNA test so she probably just had some like random Jewish DNA and she says part Jewish so who knows it could have just been like one grand parent or even beyond that so that's like a total stretch like obviously that has no role in her life really so that's just like kind of a dumb thing to put in there both alex wagner and jan crawford are not jews but just married to them and it's hard for me to like zoom into the picture very well so i can't tell when people are like have the darker star that shows that they're ethnically jewish or the light light slightly lighter star that shows that they're just married um i think the marriage thing is dumb but whatever mark noller left and uh their reasoning is that he knows like some yiddish words based on his twitter but i looked at his twitter and like yeah he quotes obama saying some yiddish words because obama was at some like gathering like for jews and mark noller says oh this is what obama said but mark noller was just like a white house correspondent like that's what he did he just hung out at the white house and like did news there so anything that went on at the white house he was there for he like reported on you know christmas events too and stuff so i don't actually know if this dude's jewish i don't know people People know like Yiddish phrases sometimes or like Yiddish words or like whatever like people know about different languages like especially when it's like a common phrase or something anyway moving on uh Dean Reynolds left and also like a dubious case in the sense he might just be like married to a Jew I don't know um because he like liked a Chabad house on Facebook I don't know maybe he just like married into it I don't really know but 
I just don't think it's like the best thing to just like go off of like Twitter, like obscure Twitter, Facebook posts, which is what they do a lot. It's like really dumb. Serena Alchel is half Jewish. Tony Dokopil is um, just married to one. And like they cite this funny article he made about getting an adult like re-circumcision or something weird. So, I mean, yeah, he's definitely just married into it. Ben Stein, like they list him, but again, he's just someone who's like been on CBS, but I wouldn't say he's like a CBS like mainstay or an employee. Like he's like a generic actor kind of, he's just like a generic like commentator. I mean, he's on like a lot of stuff. I mean, I remember back in the day, I don't know about him now, but um, I think he's like another person that is, uh, like has been on every now and then, but it's silly to say he's like a CBS employee necessarily. Don Cupid has left. Scott Schumann left. Lori Lori Opadin left. Mike Whitman is retired. Um, and also, I'm not sure if he's Jewish or just married into a Jewish family. Uh, Scott Herman left. Matthew Siegel left. Leonard Goldberg is dead. Allison Pepper is probably not Jewish. And the reasoning that they post her as one is that her like sister-in-laws, and I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be her sister-in-law or her just her sister, because it's someone with the same last name as her. Her that person's son, and they finally say like, oh, and thus Allison Pepper's nephew. Like, yeah, we get, we understand what a nephew means. Is someone who like is a member of a synagogue. So like, either that means her sister or sister-in-law, whatever, like married a Jewish dude. And that the son goes to a synagogue. Um, I don't know what this has to do with her or her, even her husband. Um, so that was just like really dumb. This is a stretch. Like they stretch everything. Adam Weiner is apparently leaving. Christy Tanner left, and she could be another example of someone who's just married to one. And then uh, Ken Ross left. Yeah, I'll do the uh, like revised meme. I guess I'll try my best because like I can't find like good close up like in focus pictures of this meme, but I'll try to revise it. And then I'll look at like leadership, executives, and like board of directors for some of the uh, associated companies. So, and so when looking at um, the Paramount leadership, uh, this can be looked at in a couple different ways. Like I don't know, it's kind of confusing. But on the Paramount website, they show all like the affiliated shows and stuff. And I looked up each little circle, and each one uh, give you the like executive leadership of each little affiliated organization. So yeah, maybe like half of them, uh, they list the leadership, uh, including like the executive like head. And I counted like 14, and of those 14, I counted, I guess like one, two, three, four, five Jews. So uh, roughly like a third. And like obviously some of them like they didn't list the leadership. Yeah, that's interesting to know. Oh, and also uh, the Showtime exec, David Nevins, uh, is also leaving, so I'm not sure who will replace him. But that's just for those like affiliated orgs, not necessarily like the full on uh, leadership. And then this other website shows the Paramount Network executives. So yeah, the Paramount Network executives, I was able to count two confirmed, uh, Davidowitz and Sean Silverman. Honestly, I only confirmed them because those names are just like way too Jewy to like not be Jews. And they're dudes, so I know they're not like married into it. And then I put as a possible, maybe uh, Jennifer Danielson. This photo, she looks kind of black. So I don't know, maybe she's like half Jewish or like married a Jewish dude, I'm not really sure. Um, and also Danielson might just be like a Gentile name. You can't always go by the name. So I don't know, like two to four at most out of out of 21. So whatever the percentage uh, you wanna draw from that. Um, and then there's another thing to look at, which is, um, I don't know, like again, it's just like confusing. Like there's Paramount Global, Paramount, like whatever. So the senior management for Paramount from another website, probably just like a different way to look at it. I don't know. You have Bob Backish, Dan Cohen, Jonathan Karp, uh, David Nevins, who's leaving, Brian Robbins, and I put it as a maybe, Pam Kaufman, even though honestly, like Kaufman is like a pretty standard German name as well. And that's out of um, 26 people. So that's like five or six out of 26. So yeah, whatever. Um, and then the board of directors, um, is a bit more Jewy. Uh, obviously the Redstone heir. Uh, you have Backish. Seligman, I'm just gonna, I think is Jewish. That's like a pretty Jewish name. And then I put as possibly is Klieger and Schumann. Again, like for these guys, it's kind of hard to figure it out because like not all of them have like Twitters or whatever and not all of them, like there's just not a lot of public info about these people. Uh, it's easier to find info about like actual like news reporters and stuff, not necessarily like people behind the scenes but regardless um the board of directors isn't like necessarily calling the shots either they like appoint the ceo who's bob backish and whatnot but 
Anyway, uh, so that's the stats on like the leadership and stuff. Oh, and we can also look at CBS News itself, which is like, I'm pretty sure what the meme is like targeting anyway, because obviously they care more about, I don't know, I guess CBS News. And so we already discussed Niraj and Wendy as the co-presidents. And then the only people I could uh, list as Jewish are Rand Morrison and Susan Zarinsky. Uh, everyone else seems to be Gentile. Uh, they have Allison Pepper in here, but I, like I said previously, I think that she probably isn't. And then, like, as a possible, like, maybe, I guess, maybe David Ryder, Reader. Honestly, like, that's not even a Jewy name, really, but he just kind of looks like it. And then Radio Islam said Mary Hager is Jewish, but that's not a Jewish last name. And, I mean, besides the fact that she, like, kind of has a big nose, I don't know. Like, I don't know why, like, Radio Islam doesn't, like, give any information at all, so... I don't know, um, but that's out of uh, that's out of 22 people. So yeah, and um, Paramount is uh, in Hollywood. Paramount Global is located in New York, and then like a lot of the affiliates uh, for like movies and stuff are in Hollywood. So you know, LA, New York, pretty high Jewish populations. CBS News also in New York. So, and also I just looked up the CBS News wiki. And from their personnel that are listed, there's about 104 up until the um, radio personalities, and I counted 17 out of the 104. Um, and then the radio personalities and uh, the Newspath correspondents, they didn't really give links to their, like, any bios or anything, so I can only count Steve Portnoy on that one. So that's like one out of 26, but I don't know, there's probably like one or two more. Um, and I didn't count uh, past correspondence because I just don't really care about that. But I mean, I think it's pretty, um, pretty normal proportion. Uh, the only thing being that like it's technically owned by like the Redstone family. But again, if a family like starts a company, like, I don't know, that's just kind of what happens. Like if you start like a multi, you know, million dollar company, like you want to pass it on to your children. That's just kind of a thing that happens. So anyway, that's the last one. I'm going to like put these all in a playlist. I think they're pretty decent to look at. I'm not going to probably do the one with all like the red bars or whatever that was made in 2013 because there was like a decent response meme made about that one so i'm gonna hold off on that one for now and then yeah i'm probably gonna go into like slavery memes and after that i don't know just keep doing response videos or whatever to memes or like go on to like longer full videos so anyway see you around